Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're reviewing the new XP Pen Artist Pro 16 TP. So I've been in the market for a new pen tablet for freelancing for a while now. Up to this point, I've been using my trusty old Wacom Cintiq 22 HD Touch, but I needed something a bit more portable to hook up to my laptop and take into the office. So naturally, I headed over to the Wacom website to check out the Cintiq Pro 16 inch. And after wasting a load of time looking at the specs, I discovered it's no longer available in the UK. Although they don't mention that on the website, you just get this error message if you try to buy one. So I had a quick look on Amazon and was pretty shocked to discover that it's selling for almost 2000 pounds, which makes it more expensive than my much larger and slightly older Cintiq. So I pretty much gave up on that, but lucky for me, the guys over at XP Pen were kind enough to send over their new Artist Pro 16 TP. So let's take a look at some of the features here and see if it's up to the task. Firstly, it's much cheaper at just shy of 800 pounds. And to be honest, it's got a lot of the same, if not better features than the Wacom equivalent. The screen, for example, is a super crisp 4K and by far one of the best I've seen on a graphics tablet. The colors here are brilliant too for all you designers out there at 92% Adobe RGB, which also makes it better than the screen on my laptop. So it's great for showing off work to your clients. I'm also a big fan of the 16 inch size. It fits easily into my laptop bag along with my laptop. So it's nice and portable as well. It is a tad on the heavy side though, weighing in at 2.5 kilos, but that's mainly due to the more professional build quality. It's mostly metal. So none of that cheaper plastic you find in some of the other tablets out there. So I'd say this one is definitely built to last. It also comes with a load of connections and even plug adapters, which you don't see too often. So if you do a lot of traveling abroad, you'll definitely appreciate that. At the top of the tablet, you've got two USB-C ports and you can plug these in either way, which can make organizing your cables on your desk a little bit easier. I've got this one plugged into my work laptop via only the USB-C connection, which will give you enough power to work at 50% brightness, which is fine for indoor use. But if you want to crank it up to full brightness, you'll need to plug in the power cable as well. And I have to say it's super handy to have a two screen setup like this when you're out freelancing, especially with that 4K screen. The screen itself is quite glossy though. You don't have that matte texture that you might be used to with some of the other tablets out there. But this actually suits me fine because I'm used to drawing on my old Wacom, which had a similar screen. So definitely not a deal breaker for me. There's also no gap between the glass and the screen itself. So there's no parallax here on the Artist Pro, which again is a sign of a more high end tablet. Plus one of the big draw cards here is that it's also a touch screen. So it's great for browsing the web or using different gestures in your apps like zooming and rotating the canvas. But it does get a bit dirty after you've had your grubby mitts over it for a while. But they've also thought of this and included a little cleaning cloth so you can keep it looking nice and shiny. I've tried it out in Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D and ZBrush without any issues with the pen or touch. But I did experience a bit of lag when drawing in the latest version of Photoshop and Illustrator. So hopefully that'll be fixed with a driver update in the near future. It also had some problems in Critter. There's a huge lag going on here, as you can see, but it did perform perfectly in Clip Studio Pro and GIMP. The software and drivers included are pretty standard, but not as advanced as what you might get with Wacom. You can remap the single button or eraser to whatever you like in each app, but I do wish there was a second thumb button like most other pens out there. Not sure why they went with a single button. Other XP pen models have two. This pen does, however, have tilt and over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is also pretty standard for high-end tablets these days. But this one also comes with a fairly unique pen holder and loads of spare nibs, which is also a nice touch. If you're into your physical shortcut keys, you will be a little bit disappointed here because there aren't any, but you can purchase a separate XP pen remote if that's your thing. I personally prefer to use a wireless keyboard, so that's no big deal for me. On occasion, I did have problems with my hand touching the screen while using the pen, but you've got three modes in the top corner here to enable and disable the touch features. So that managed to fix that problem. Plus they also include this stylish drawing glove to help with this issue. The tablet doesn't, however, come with a stand, which was a bit unexpected. Some of the newer tablets actually have built-in stands these days but this one just has little rubber feet on the bottom for laying it flat. But you can always pick up a cheap generic stand like this one online and you should be good to go. 
So all in all, I'm really digging this tablet. It's exactly what I needed for work and it seems to outshine the Wacom equivalent on features and price. The biggest selling point for me is definitely the super sharp 4K screen, the colors and the touchscreen, which is pretty hard to come by at this price. I do wish the drivers worked a bit better though, especially with Adobe software. And if it was a tad lighter for lugging around to freelance gigs. So I definitely recommend the XP Pen Artist Pro 16TP if you're after something similar. If you've got any questions about the tablets or you own one yourself, let me know about your experience down in the comment section and let us know with a like or a dislike if you find these reviews helpful. All right, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below or you can leave a like or dislike and don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. There's loads of extra resources on our website and you can win epic CG prizes in our monthly challenges. Check out cgshortcuts.com for more details. Catch you next time.